Where is this? Why am I here? Su Zicheng didn't have the headache of a conventional time traveler, he just appeared in this strange room as soon as awakening came. Immediately afterwards, a wave of memories flooded into his mind very smoothly. Everything is clear. I crossed over. Su Zicheng stood up and looked in the mirror. This is a boy with a combination of Chinese and Western appearance. He looks very handsome and handsome, and he looks like a killer no matter where he is. Exactly the same. Su Zicheng touched his cheek. His face looks exactly the same as in his previous life. So, did I wear it and suddenly my memory came back to life, or did I wear it as a soul? Originally thought it was soul wear, but after seeing his own face, Su Zicheng was a little uncertain. In fact, he was a mixed race in his previous life, his father was Washa, and his mother was Midi, but the mixed race belongs to the mixed race. During the more than 10 years of his life, he has been in Washa for at least 10 years. Only during some festivals, would I go back to Midi to meet my grandpa and grandma. This life seems a little different. Su Zicheng was still a little confused. I don't know what kind of situation my time travel belongs to. Because he actually read a guy named Peter Parker in his memory. Although there is no Iron Man name for the time being, there is a famous playboy named Tony Stark. Is this the Marvel Universe? Beep. The bounty hunter system is on. System? Su Zicheng's spirit was shaken suddenly. Bounty hunter system? Host, Su Zicheng. Physical fitness. One hunter level. D ability. None. A bright green panel suddenly appeared in front of Su Cheng's eyes. Is this a character attribute? What is this hunter level? What does the bounty hunter system do? System. Su Zicheng asked tentatively. Host, I'm here. Call, Su Zicheng heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, although the system is not powerful, it should at least be able to answer his own questions. Then came the question and answer session. Su Chang also had a general understanding of the usefulness of this system. As the name suggests, Bounty Hunter, it's a system that makes him a bounty hunter. And because of the special nature of this system, all the items and abilities that are open in the system mall can be exchanged for money. Definitely, the money has to be his own. Even if it was stolen, definitely, it cannot be said that as long as it is seen, it is his. It must be money that will not worry about future troubles. However, the amount of robbed money that can be used in the system mall will be reduced by zero, that is, robbed 100 million, and only 10 million can be used in the system in the end. This temporarily dissuaded Su Zicheng from grabbing money everywhere he wanted. And Su Zicheng's attention was immediately attracted by the system mall. This, this, this. Su Zicheng kept flipping down and gasped. The system mall basically has everything, but there is only one word, expensive. Hunter suit, clothes, pants, shoes, hat, gloves, the price of a single piece is 25,000, and the full set has a discounted price of 120,000. A single piece can defend against attacks from ordinary bullets and foreign objects. After collecting the complete set, the defense increases, the speed increases, increased attack power, additional magic resistance. Fire ability, LV.1, the price is 100,000. It can manipulate flames for a short time. If you use it too much, you will fall into a state of mental exhaustion. Infinite gems. The price of a single gem is 1 trillion, and the price of a complete set is 5 trillion. Infinite gems are all on sale, but they are really expensive. And it's all in USD, it's okay if you can buy it directly with money, although it may be regarded as a neuropathy, but take your time, Su Zicheng can directly find shield, produce some certificates, let them give him money, and promote the development of the earth, occupy the earth, kill Thanos. Pity. Thinking of the conditions of the system, Su Zicheng couldn't help clicking his tongue slightly, who knows if he can earn that much money. By the way, system, is there any legendary novice gift package? He suddenly reacted. Wouldn't it be nice to just be a bounty hunter? Su Zicheng is just an ordinary high school student no matter in his previous life or now, at most he is physically strong and handsome, but to be honest, there is no such thing as force. Be a hunter? It would be nice not to be hunted. Su Zicheng does not seek to reach the sky in one step, as long as he has a starting point. You know, he is very greedy for things in the system mall. It's a pity that there is no money in my pocket, and I cry. The system over there seemed silent for a while. Ding. The novice gift pack is distributed. Gift pack for beginners, absolute hit, LV. 1. Physique enhancement potion. Absolute hit, LV.1. You can use any object, use your own, power, and accurately hit any place you want to hit within the line of sight. Physical enhancement potion. After taking it, physical fitness plus 1. Later, Su Zicheng rummaged through the mall again. Then one thing was discovered. At present, the item with the highest price in the mall, ability, 
will not exceed the price limit of 10 trillion. Su Zicheng also asked about the reason for the system. The system's answer is that the host's current level is too low, and he can only know about these commodities. Moreover, if he wants to buy better things, he should not use this kind of money, but a higher level of money. Su Zicheng probably understood. It may be that those items that are too powerful are difficult to measure with the current money on the earth. It's just too expensive, hundreds of trillions to tens of trillions, and the sum of money on the entire planet of the earth may not be worth it. Although it is difficult to measure the ability in the mall at present. Inside the Queen's high school cafeteria, Peter Parker, a freshman in high school, sat in a corner with a plate and ate. However, even when he was eating, his eyes were always focused on a Michelle Jones with slightly darker skin and side curly hair not far away, that is, MJ. It seems that as long as you look at MJ, you can taste better when you eat. However, as soon as Peter picked up the sandwich in his hand, he found an annoying tall figure sitting directly opposite MJ with a plate. MJ didn't mean to take any precautions, but looked very welcoming instead. He, Peter was sour. But he didn't dare to say anything. Now he hasn't been bitten by a spider, he is just a thin high school student. And what about that man? This guy's name is Tom Holland. Good looking, mainly tall and strong. The most important thing is, he likes MJ very much. Usually, because I know why Peter also likes MJ, I will go to Peter to trouble him from time to time. If there is no accident, Peter will be beaten up severely. As a result, Peter now has a psychological shadow on Tom Holland. And Tom Holland, who was chatting happily with MJ, seemed to have noticed Peter's eyes. He took the opportunity to give Peter a smug look back and clenched his fists. Then turn around in seconds and continue chatting with MJ. Peter was threatened brutally, he squeezed the sandwich tightly, and bit down viciously. He is very dissatisfied. At this time, a breeze blew by, and there was another person beside Peter. Peter, do you want to beat that guy up? Peter looked over. It was Su Zicheng who came. Zicheng, I definitely thought about it. Peter shrugged helplessly when he heard this, and sighed, but I can't beat him, that guy is too strong. I'll beat him up for you, Su Zicheng said with a grin. Really? Peter's eyes lit up. Su Zicheng's physique is about the same as that of Tom Holland. If you want to beat him, then there may be hope. 50 Yuan. Su Zicheng raised his eyebrows, and stretched out two fingers, professional agent, I will take all the responsibilities. 50. Peter was slightly taken aback, his face a bit embarrassed, can it be cheaper? He is not a wealthy family either, Peter. Su Zicheng patted Peter's shoulder earnestly. I will be responsible for everything. If the teacher catches me, what do you think will happen to me? Besides, after beating up that guy, he will definitely not dare to approach MJ. When the time comes it's not. 50 yuan is not much. Say yes. Say yes. Su Zicheng really wants to say, I am a bounty hunter, 50 yuan is already very little, okay. But if I say this, I am afraid that people will be regarded as crazy. Forget it. In short, the most important thing is to complete the first order quickly, otherwise. Peter was still in hesitation. But at this moment, Tom Holland turned his head again, swaggered his fist in the air, and made a few mouth shapes, as if he was going to beat him up later. With this stubble, he glanced at MJ and thought of what Su Cheng said, Peter made up his mind instantly. Okay, deal. Su Cheng rubbed his fingers, looking like a money fan, money first, then work. Peter struggled to take out 50 rice gold from his pocket. Su Zicheng snatched the money, stuffed it into his pocket, and stood up. Thank you for your patronage. Looking at Su Cheng's back, Peter suddenly felt distressed. 50 yuan, that was his food money for several days. But when he thought that Tom Holland would be severely beaten and would not dare to approach MJ, he felt very comfortable. Peter waited to see the play. Su Zicheng is also in a good mood. Finally found the first order, although he said that he forcibly pulled it. Alas, what about the bounty hunter you agreed to? Why do you want to be so aggressive? However, although there is a little complaint in my heart. But Su Zicheng didn't say anything, because this is what he wants to do. After obtaining the two abilities of the novice gift pack, the system releases a task. Complete the first order within three days, and the absolute hit and physique potions will be completely and permanently belong to Su Zicheng. If the first order is not received within three days, then the ability will be withdrawn. This is also the reason why Su Zicheng tried to solicit customers forcibly, and sold it for only 50 yuan. He doesn't have any awesome equipment in his hand. There is no way out for the time being, it is simply impossible to pick up the task within three days. So it had to be like this, probably a bounty hunter. The corners of Su Zicheng's mouth twitched, comforting himself in his heart. 
he swore that this was the first and last time he would sell for 50 yuan. Hey! After Su Zicheng left his seat, he went straight to Tom Holland's side and patted him on the shoulder. Tom Holland frowned, stood up very dissatisfied, and asked in a bad tone, What are you doing? He was having a good time chatting with MJ. Naturally, I was very upset to be interrupted suddenly. I'm going to beat you up now. Su Zicheng looked at him and said seriously. Peter, who had been paying attention to the situation here, suddenly covered his eyes. He began to wonder if his 50 yuan was going to be wasted. Peter doesn't fight very often, but he also understands. Under the same hardware conditions, the surprise attack is the easiest to win when the opponent has no defense. There's going to be a fight. Like Su Zicheng, there are really few people who just walked over and said I will beat you up, and they are very, very, very rare. The rarity is comparable to red wine with garlic. And except for Peter. The bustling students nearby also noticed the situation here. No one stopped them either, instead, they watched with great interest. There are even many men who are shouting to fight. After all, the first year of high school is the second year of middle school when hormones explode and vent countless times. If someone wants to fight, let alone let them hinder it, it is good not to boo. What? Tom Holland couldn't believe his ears and almost laughed out loud. He purposely put his hand in the shape of a trumpet by his ear, and said contemptuously, what did you say? Say it again. I said. I'm going to beat you up. Su Zicheng repeated it again seriously. Then he reached into the inner pocket of his chest clothes. However, what he didn't expect was. This action actually made Tom Holland vigilant, and stepped back again and again. What are you going to do? His hand was already quietly on the chair behind him. Free America, shootouts every day. Even in high school, it is not uncommon for people to be injured with weapons or even guns. Although Tom Holland is fierce, it doesn't mean he is a fool. What if Su Zicheng took out a gun from his pocket? Although the odds are slim, but don't be afraid of 10,000, just in case. Tom Holland felt that it was better to be more vigilant. When the people around saw this situation, they also rioted and moved away from the battlefield, one after another. At this time, Peter, who was on the side, also took this opportunity to run to Majay's side, grabbed Majay's hand, and pulled MJ aside. This is the first time Peter held Majay's hand, so, Peter is cool. He already felt that even if Su Zicheng didn't beat Tom Holland hard, the 50 yuan was worth it. I've already said that I'm going to beat you up, it's normal to ask it once, it's okay to ask it twice, and it's okay to ask it three times, are you mentally retarded? Under the eyes of everyone, Su Zicheng, he took out a alloy slingshot from his pocket. Then I took a few marbles and wandered around in my hand. Anyone with a discerning eye could see what he was going to do. Tom Holland looked at the slingshot in Su Zisheng's hand. He didn't care about Su Zisheng's words at all. Suddenly burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. Slingshot? You're going to hit me with a slingshot? Little guy, you are looking for a beating, do you know that? Tom Holland felt that there was no need to be angry with Su Zicheng, the only thing he needed to do was to beat him up and teach him how to be a good grandson. After a laugh, he showed his white teeth clenched his fists viciously, and picked up the chair next to him, aggressively. Tisk. Su Zicheng hit it, hit it. Pull the slingshot open and full. Aim at Tom Holland casually. Are you looking down on the slingshot? Let go. Call out. Everyone saw only a white shadow flashing past, hitting Tom Holland's tiger's mouth with a swoosh. Ah. A cry of pain sounded. Tom Holland suffered from pain, his entire right arm went numb, his fingers loosened uncontrollably, and the chair fell to the ground. His left hand was tightly clutching his right hand, unable to speak due to the pain. Su Zicheng is very satisfied, he definitely did it on purpose. At the tiger's mouth, it hurts even if you pinch it, and your hand will feel numb if you apply a little force. Being hit by marbles is so sour, tisk tisk. However, satisfaction is satisfaction. Su Zicheng didn't mean to stop. The order he took was to give Tom Holland a fat beating. Is this called a fat beating? Not called. Leisurely took out a marble. Fill the slingshot. Call out. Poor Tom Holland still hasn't recovered. The marble hit him hard on the nose once, the pain came. What? Nosebleeds gushed out in an instant. Tears kept streaming down. Tom Holland wanted to cover his nose. However, the hand just stretched out. Another marble flew by. Ah. He retracted his hand in an instant, covering his abdomen in pain. Next, it was time for Su Zicheng to perform alone. With a slingshot in one hand, you can shoot wherever you point. Left shoulder, right shoulder, and a small arm. I play, I play, I play. As long as it is within the reach of the eye, it will hit a hundred shots. This is the horror of absolute hit, 
LV.1, in fact, with Su Zishang's current physique of 2, he can completely hang this guy up and beat him. But how can it be fun to play with a slingshot? And he just got the absolute hit skill, although it's only LV.1, his hands are itchy. Poor Tom Holland was completely reduced to Su Zishang's toy target. What? The severe pain made him unable to resist any thoughts, and Tom Holland wanted to escape. But the marble immediately hit his left big toe. It's like being stepped on by an elephant. Tom Holland's body tilted instantly, and he fell to the ground with a plop. Ah. I was wrong. I was wrong. Stop hitting me, please. Next. This 1.8 meter tall man lay on the ground and started crying. Crying is called miserable, and that is called heart piercing. Tears and snot mixed together. The contrast with his physique is simply not too great. Su Zichang stopped the slingshot, touching his nose awkwardly. Beat him like this. It's poor, I can't bear to do it. However, Su Zichang just thought about it, he didn't feel any pity for this guy. First of all, he is a bounty hunter with no emotion. Secondly, although he hit it well in front of MJ, Tom Holland is a perpetrator of school violence, and the pain he feels today is all caused by him. Su Zichang took out the slingshot again and fully drew the bowstring. Get ready to give Tom Holland the final blow and get him to sleep. And Tom Holland, who was lying on the ground crying, saw this scene. After sucking in a breath of fear, he rolled his eyes and fell into a coma. The corners of Su Zisheng's mouth twitched. I had no choice but to take the marbles back in embarrassment. He's all passed out, so we can't wake him up and give him another shot to make him pass out again, right? Ding. The first task is completed. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the absolute hit and the permanent use of physical enhancement potions. Listen to the task completion notification sound in your head. Su Zicheng breathed a sigh of relief. It's finally done. He's in a much better mood. He waved his slingshot at Peter who was staring blankly not far away. Mission complete, go eat something. Su Zicheng's action directly exposed that Peter asked him to beat up Tom Holland. Maybe others don't know. But MJ saw Su Zicheng's actions clearly. He glanced at Peter in surprise, ahem. Peter coughed in embarrassment, and scolded Su Zichung countless times in his heart. Su Zichung really went to eat. It's just going from the East Canteen to the West Canteen. After all, the East Dining Hall is a bit of a mess right now, and Tom Holland is passing out there. It's noon, people are iron rice or steel, and they will be hungry if they don't eat a meal, especially his physique is stronger than ordinary people, so relatively speaking, the nutrition to support his physique is naturally much more. Su Zichung had a good meal. The food in the cafeteria is still cheap, but it is not very delicious. The chicken is artificial, and there is no meaty taste. Go to a Chinese restaurant another day. Su Zichung had just cleaned up all the food on the table. The teacher came to the door. At this time, everyone understands why the teacher came to the door. But Su Zichung didn't panic at all. Because the place where his slingshot hits is very particular, at most it will hurt that guy Tom Holland. If there is any injury, it will not be at all. And it turns out that's true. The teacher is a middle-aged man with a beard. His attitude towards Su Zicheng is not bad, which also confirms Su Zicheng's thoughts. The fight just now did not cause any substantial damage to Tom Holland. The teacher talked with Su Zicheng for a while. It probably means to ask Su Zicheng to send something to the infirmary later. Definitely, it's just persuasion, verbal talk. There is no intention of punishing Su Zicheng at all. Su Zicheng promised, but complained in his heart. How annoying is Tom Holland, even the teacher doesn't like him. Seeing Su Zicheng's appearance, the teacher also saw that Su Zicheng didn't care about these things at all, and left after saying a few words. Tom Holland was a bad student. Su Zicheng is usually very popular in school because he is handsome and studies well. Teachers and classmates like him very much. So this time, the teachers and classmates were more inclined to provoke Su Zicheng by Tom Holland, and then he was beaten by Su Zicheng. After afternoon classes, Su Zichung returned home. This is a villa. In this world, his parents are both dead and he has no relatives. Fortunately, his parents left him a small villa, a car, and some deposits. The deposit is about 300,000 knives, enough to get him to live until he graduates from college and starts working. Su Zichung didn't feel much about it, because he doesn't have any relationship foundation with his parents in this world. The only pity is that the 300,000 knives cannot be used in the system mall, otherwise, let alone invincibility, at least upgrade the absolute hit skill to LV.2. During class in the afternoon, Su Zichung studied absolute hit. I probably know the concept of absolutely hitting the first two levels. For LV.1, 
wherever you look, as long as you use your own strength to throw or shoot objects, you will be hit with a hundred hits. What does self-power mean here? Such as bows and arrows, slingshots, or throwing weapons. But firearms are different. Firearms use the power of pistols. Su Zisheng's own strength does not touch the bullets, so firearms are useless to Su Zicheng at present. At present, Su Zisheng's strength, in terms of shooting ability, is definitely the peak of human beings, a little bit stronger than Hawkeye. And if LV.1 is still in the normal range, LV.2 belongs to the category of super ability. As long as you use your own strength, regardless of the power and file size, as long as it is launched, it will hit the target regardless of anything. At this stage, it is not limited to the place where the eyes can see. What does it mean? Even if Su Zicheng is just flicked lightly, it only travels one meter in a minute, even if it does not conform to physics at all, it will hit the target. Shoot an arrow at the sun and it will hit the one. Definitely, it's not without its flaws. The only flaw is that if the force, bearer, such as a bow and arrow, receives a fatal blow, it will be interrupted. Where is the critical point of this fatal blow, Su Zicheng also does not understand. Because currently he is only LV.1, and can only know some information about LV.2. As for LV.3, forget it, he doesn't deserve to know. Su Zicheng sighed, although other abilities are awesome. But it doesn't stop him yearning for LV.2 in the slightest. What a pity. It takes a whole million dollars to upgrade Absolute Hit from LV.1 to LV.2. It's not enough to sell him as a whole. Su Zicheng glanced at his balance. That's $6,050. 6,000 is the startup capital given by the system. Well, it was originally only 5,000, but under Su Zisheng's argument, the system added 1,000 to the second floor, and the remaining 50 was naturally earned from Peter. It's too hard for me. Su Zicheng could only force himself not to think about those things. Come on and make money. Looked through the system mall. Su Zicheng suddenly discovered a deeply hidden area. Preferential area, it is indeed hidden deep. If you want to turn over the product to the end, it will only appear in the bottom line of introduction. Su Zicheng very much suspected that the cheating system was done on purpose, and he didn't want to let himself know where the discount area was. Fortunately, be careful. Otherwise, I don't know how much money I will lose. Su Zicheng clicked on the discount area, and then I discovered a very cheating thing. That is, there are only two discount items in the discount area. Hunter Suit Physical Enhancement Potion and with less than three hours left, the discount will be cancelled. Hunter said, the original price is 120,000, the current price is only 50,000, discounts, price cuts, great benefits, surprises, genuine discounts, buy as soon as possible. Physique Enhancement Potion, the original price is 30,000, the current price is only 10,000, if you want to buy it, hurry up. All of them were marked with slogans, as if they were trying to seduce Su Zicheng. Su Zicheng is jealous. Looking at these two items in the discount area, his saliva was about to flow down. This discount is really conscientious, one is cut in half, and the other is only one third of the money. Perks are a good thing, but, Su Zicheng glanced at his balance. A wretched 6050. Even if it is cut in half, he can't afford it at all. Seeing that the preferential time has changed from three hours to two hours. Su Zicheng finally couldn't sit still. System, can you give me a discount? He found the system pitifully. You said that I am a newcomer, can't I have a discount for newcomers? Yes, the host. The system seemed to be unable to stand his boring words, and replied. Huh? Really? Now it was Su Zisheng's turn to be stunned. Because he was just talking casually, without any hope. Unexpectedly, it actually did. Yes, the host, you are considered a novice hunter within one month after becoming a hunter. Within this month, there are three discounts for newcomers. Su Zicheng was pleasantly surprised that the system still has this function. How much discount? One off. I rely on. Su Zicheng almost suffocated. 10% off. Doesn't that mean that he can buy two things in the preferential area? Wait. Su Zicheng suddenly came back to his senses, and suddenly remembered a question. The discount for newcomers within a month. The system, are you going to tell me? Well, no, it's just that you didn't ask. The system felt a little guilty. Pit dad, cheat dad. I was almost cheated by the dog system. Su Zicheng was glad that he asked casually just now, otherwise, he would most likely be focused on saving money and would not buy anything in the mall for a month. This will cause. The discount for newcomers will be invalidated. Okay. I'm going to buy it now. Su Zicheng's eyes sparkled. After rubbing his hands together, he directly and decisively chose to buy the hunter suit. Do you want to use the discount for newcomers? Whether, use. The value is 5000 after the discount. 
pay. Looking at the four big characters of successful purchase in front of him, Su Zaichung smiled cheerfully. But it didn't stop. Instead, he turned around and bought a physical enhancement potion. It is worth 1,000 after the discount. After buying these two items, Su Zaichung only has 50 yuan left. Randomly limited a range of money in the mall, thinking about buying a bow or something, but found something. Underground trading place admission ticket. It is worth 50 can guide the host to the underground trading place, and can be turned into a proof of identity for any underground trading place. I lost it. Su Zaichung was startled. Isn't this ability too strong? There are only 50? He extremely suspected that the price was reduced by a few zeros when the system was put on the shelves. In order to prevent the system from wanting to default, Su Zaichung bought it directly. This thing is really too important to him at present. Definitely, he'd be an idiot for not taking advantage of the 10% discount on this $50 item. After buying the coupon, his account balance returned to zero smoothly. Although he spent all his money and used the 10% discount twice, Su Zaichung was very satisfied. If possible, he also wants to put the 10% discount on those things that can easily cost trillions, but unfortunately he can't afford that kind of thing even with a 10% discount. Everything he buys now is very useful to him at this stage. Although I feel a little bit that the system is deliberately cheating all my money like this. But if this is the case, he only has one sentence. Please let the system cheat me a few more times. Satisfied, Su Zaichung took out the physical enhancement potion. Drink it in one gulp. The physical enhancement medicine in the preferential area is different from the novice gift pack. As mentioned in the introduction, the effect is stronger. Drink the potion of physical enhancement. Feeling the surging power in his body, Su Zaichung opened his personal panel. Bounty Hunter System Host. Su Zaichung Physical Fitness. 5. Hunter Level. D Ability. Absolute Hit. LV.1. Physical Fitness Increased by 3. More than doubled. Su Zaichung was pleasantly surprised. Definitely, this does not mean that his strength has only doubled. You must know that the current absolute hit still relies on his own strength. The stronger he is, the stronger the absolute hit will be. That's the reason. Accurate. But if the speed and strength are not enough, dead man cannot be killed, and even a slightly stronger, normal person, such as Captain America, is likely to grab the arrow shot by Su Zicheng and block it. But now it is different. Su Zicheng's physical fitness has been increased, which is five times that of ordinary people. Although it is still worse than Captain America, strength alone, regardless of combat skills or absolute hit skills, is enough. Have the strength to fight. Not to mention the bounty hunter equipment. Su Zicheng took out the bounty hunter suit. Same as described. Clothes, trousers, shoes, hats, gloves, a total of five pieces. The main tone is a black trench coat. The appearance is handsome and simple. There is a sense of mystery just by looking at it. Is the hat actually in the form of a hood? A few lines of black lines appeared on Su Zichung's forehead. You can still sell the hood and the clothes separately. What kind of goddamn cheat are you? But one thing to say this suit is really handsome, which fits the four words of Bounty Hunter very well. When Su Zaichung saw it, he couldn't put it down. Oh, this color, oh, this fabric, Ness. Su Zaichung put the suit on after he got tired of crooked for a while. It has to be said that the set bonus is strong. As soon as Su Zaichung put it on, his whole temperament changed, from a sunny boy to a gloomy bounty hunter. And Su Zaichung also felt it. His strength, speed, and even dynamic vision have been greatly increased. And the clothes seem to be bulletproof. There was no gun in the house either. Su Zaichang went to find a knife, first cut it, and then slashed his chest very hard. His physique is originally five times that of ordinary people, plus the power increase of the hunter suit. What is the concept of very strong? It can definitely blow a person's head off with ease. It is definitely not much weaker than the destructive power of bullets. However, that's the attack, the clothes don't do any damage. The knife broke directly. Su Zaichang himself didn't feel any pain. He just felt the same strength as the massage on the attacked place. This is not the reason why the hunter suit has reached its limit, but it is specially set so that he will not know that someone wearing a hunter suit is attacking him. These are very obvious additions that can be felt. If the front is weaker than Captain America, so if Su Zichung fights against Captain America now, it can be said to be a sling, especially the exaggerated defense, it is a bit difficult for Captain America to break the defense. This bonus is really not an exaggeration. Perhaps it is not worth mentioning in Marvel, but for his early stage, it is definitely a very scary equipment. Su Zichung is very glad that he bought this suit. Not to mention that it only cost 5,000, even the original price of 120,000 is definitely worth it. 
I've tried everything I need to try, but the introduction of the hunter suit still has magic resistance. I don't know how to try it. After thinking about it for a long time, I can't find a way. I can't go to Kamar Taj and let Ancient One beat me up, right? Take off the hunter suit and put it in the space of the system store. Su Zaichang took out the third thing he bought tonight. This is a seemingly ordinary admission ticket. However, as soon as he got it in his hands, Su Zaichang felt that it was extraordinary. Just take it. His mind will center on himself, and some red dots will appear. Red dots represent well-known underground trading places. The thicker the red dot, the bigger and more terrifying this underground trading place is. Ordinary garbage cannot enter this coupon. There are three red dots in New York City. Su Zaichang sighed. I really don't understand why such a good thing is only worth 50. Host, only you will think this is a good thing, and people with a little knowledge will not spend the 50 on it. The system hit him without hesitation. Su Zishang's face froze. Although what the system said was the truth, people are hard to break. I couldn't put it down and played this, hunter suit, and, underground exchange ticket, until midnight. Su Zichang then fell into a deep sleep, nobody knows. Just tonight. A bounty hunter, officially started. The next morning. Su Zichang came to school with a backpack on his back. But even though he was in class, Su Zichang seemed a little absent-minded, holding the, underground trading place admission ticket, in his hand and looking very hesitant. He is deliberating which trading place is better to go to. He has never been to these three red dots. The bigger the red light, the bigger the underground trading place, and the smaller it is, the smaller it is. Small ones don't necessarily have their favorite tasks. Big ones can be dangerous. Su Zichung said he was a bounty hunter, but he was actually just a high school student. One morning passed. Biting his nails, Su Zichung suddenly turned hard. Damn, if we want to pick up, we will take on big tasks, and if we want to go, we will go to big trading places. With my current strength, why can't I go to these places? In the afternoon, Su Zichung asked the school teacher to take a long vacation. By the way, he also said goodbye to Little Spider Man. If he can find the task he likes, then next time he comes back, Little Spider Man may have become that good neighbor in New York. The reason for taking a long vacation is also very simple. Su Zichung is of Huami mixed race. Although he is an orphan, many people think that he has relatives in the faraway land, and the teacher is no exception. So Su Zichung simply said that it would take a month for him to go back to asterisk asterisk to see his grandparents. The United States pursued a happy education before going to university. Although it was a bit outrageous for a month, the teachers of the academic affairs office gave Su Zichung approval because of the death of Su Zicheng's parents. Su Zichung actually doesn't know how long he will be out for this trip, it may be a week, it may be two weeks, or he may be back in a few days. After all, the task has not been accepted yet. In the afternoon and evening, Su Zichung stayed at home to rest. Keep your spirits up. He didn't wake up until early in the morning, when there were basically not many people on the side of the road. Putting on the hunter suit, hiding his immature face under the shadow of the hood, Su Zichung tightened his collar and jumped out of the house. Damn, bounty hunters are like street rats. Su Zichung complained while avoiding the occasional one or two drunk pedestrians passing by. Bounty hunter. What a compelling four words. Why is it a completely different thing to me? Forget it. Anyway, bounty hunter originally is not a profession that can exist in the sun above board. Walking on the dark road, Su Zichung walked towards the biggest red dot according to the map in his mind. The distance to the red dot is getting closer and closer. Su Zichung also came to a narrow alley, surrounded by sacks of rubbish with all sorts of things in them, just looking at them is disgusting. Su Zichung curled his lips in disgust. If it wasn't for the hunter suit with a function similar to, purifying the air, he might be able to spit it out on the spot. It's too disgusting. Seriously, why does the underground trading place always have to be in this kind of place? Su Zichung took the black card-shaped, entrance ticket to underground trading place, and slid it against a small iron door next to him. Drop, the small iron door swung open. After another small alley, a door was pushed open, and a place similar to a bar came into Su Zicheng's eyes. This place is different from the deserted outside. Many. Many people of all colors gathered together, drinking loudly, are discussing some ulterior things in low voices. Su Zichung observed all this calmly. It looks like an ordinary bar, but he understands that everyone here probably has more than five lives on their hands, and they are all well-trained killers and thugs. Although Su Zichung was wearing a hunter's suit, he didn't attract the attention of others. At most, he just glanced at it and did what he had to do. This place is full of fish and dragons, and his clothes are not normal but normal. There are no friends here, so Su Zichung came directly to the mission. At the same time, 
I also saw a reward task. Hunting Tony Stark, bounty. Asterisk asterisk dollar. Su Zichang squinted his eyes, a full 10 million USD. It also firmly occupies the number one position in this underground trading place. However, this task has obviously existed here for a long time, otherwise, other people would definitely be surprised instead of being as casual as they are now. After all, who is Tony Stark? The ultimate rich man whose worth is unknown, hunt him down. Which stupid task? Moreover, Tony's identity is not just a simple rich man, regardless of whether he is a scientist or not, his father, the founder of S.H.I.E.L.D., is a super tycoon. There are people on it, who dare to hunt him down? Don't die. If it is really possible to hunt, let alone 10 million, it is 100 million, or even 1 billion. I believe many people are willing to give it. Taking 10,000 steps back, if he has the ability to hunt and kill Tony Stark, what is the lack of 10 million dollars? Finding Tony to blackmail a wave, isn't it more fragrant than 10 million? Su Zichung squinted his eyes. To be honest, he was moved. Su Zichung didn't care who took the mission who wanted to kill Tony Stark, and there was no need to know, as long as he could get the reward for the mission. Besides, he does tasks differently from other people. Originally, he does not do tasks for money, but to complete tasks, because only when tasks are completed can the money be counted into the system, and direct blackmail will not be counted. Moreover, he also has the confidence to hunt Tony Stark and complete the task. It's not that he's just going to f asterisk k Tony Stark like that, but he has a fair amount of confidence in the information he has. Recently, there is news that Tony Stark seems to be missing. The plot seems to have begun, right? It is a good opportunity. If you usually go to Tony, even if you can kill him, S.H.I.E.L.D. will definitely find the cobweb horse trail, but if it develops according to the plot, it is not necessarily so. Wouldn't it be nice to blame the terrorist who kidnapped Tony? Even if S.H.I.E.L.D. really finds him, he might be upgraded to an ABCD level hunter in the future. At that time, S.H.I.E.L.D. without the Avengers Alliance will not pose any threat to him. However, compared with Tony Stark's worth, 10 million seems a bit less. But there is no way, Su Zichung has no other way, he can only be karma, should he go to those people and tell them that he can kill Tony Stark. Let's not talk about whether he will be mentally ill on the spot. Even if he tried to find those people, he couldn't find them. Let's take this task honestly. Su Zichung left after taking over the task of hunting Tony Stark. And after he left, no one in the bar noticed that someone had accepted the task that hung high on the taskbar. Damn it, is there really someone who dares to take it? After the first few took over, they never appeared again. I don't know which fool took over this time. Tisk tisk, another idiot. Su Zichung did not leave the underground trading place directly. This underground trading place is not limited to such dirty transactions as rewarding heads, there are many things that can be bought here. For example, for items such as ammunition and firearms, ordinary pistols can be purchased directly from others. Although more powerful weapons are not in stock, you can basically find corresponding channels to buy them here. Su Zichung is definitely not here to buy a gun. As I said before, the pistol is useless to him, it definitely hits LV.1, and it has no buff effect on things that don't belong to his strength. In other words, even if he got the gun, how bad his aim was before, and how bad it is now. To him, Holding a gun is not as practical as holding a fire stick. At least throwing the fire stick can get the blessing of absolute hit, which is much more aggressive than a gun. Therefore, the main reason he hasn't left yet is because of custom bows. The bows and arrows sold outside are all produced on the assembly line. It's okay to beat one or two little guys at ordinary times, but if you really want to fight against terrorists, you are really beyond your control. Su Zichung is not a fool. But to be honest, people who come to this kind of place to order bows and arrows are still a little strange, at least the people who communicated with Su Zichung saw him in a different way. Mysterious, what kind of bow and arrow are you here for? Doubt he came to have fun, but in the end nothing was said. If you have money, let alone a ghost, you can do anything. Su Zichung directly stated that he would pay 200,000 yuan to make things with your highest standards. 200,000 knives is a lot which is two-thirds of Su Zishang's current deposit of 300,000, which is about 1.45 million when converted into soft sister coins. Order a bow? The man's eyes lit up, so much money to make custom-made bows and arrows, he can eat a lot of oil and water, who would not do such a good thing? Not all the people in the underground trading place are killers, there are also many artisans, they don't do the job of licking blood, so they earn much less money. For $200,000, it is true to order a bow and arrow. Not a small amount. After Su Zichung paid the deposit, he agreed and asked Su Zichung to get the finished product in three days. Su Zichung nodded, picked a bow that looked good, and left the underground trading place. 
since it was a custom-made bow, he naturally didn't come here for the purpose of getting the bow and arrow directly. Just take a handful and use it as a practice. And the man naturally had no objection, and let him leave cheerfully, after all, Su Zaichung paid the money. From the look in his eyes, maybe a woman who works in that field will suffer tonight. This guy can't tell that he is a fake character based on his physique. Next three days. Su Zaichung bought some instant food and cooked food, and kept familiarizing himself with his own strength and the ability to absolutely hit without leaving home. Just three days. Su Zaichung has practiced a brand new bow and arrow to the point of being useless. In order to kill Tony Stark, he can be said to have made sufficient preparations to ensure that nothing goes wrong. He wasn't kidding. The current Tony is not the Iron Man of the future, just a smart playboy, why can't he kill him? Su Zaichung won't be the same as those sleazy protagonists. Bala Bala licks Tony, isn't money better than Tony? Money is everything, he doesn't care if the so-called will spoil the plot. Even if it is destroyed, so what, there is one less Iron Man, one more him, he still doesn't believe that he with the system will be worse than Iron Man. The earth is guarded by me. Funny, with that ten million, I can hang purple sweet potatoes with one hand, believe it or not. The night of the third day, Su Zaichung put on that hunter suit again. However, compared to the greenness and discomfort three days ago, Su Zisheng's control over the hunter suit is obviously more than one level higher. During these three days, Su Zaichung was not only familiar with the power and ability he could control, but also took some time to familiarize himself with and control the power amplified by the hunter suit. During this time, Su Zaichung also had a preliminary concept of the hunter suit. He puts on the hunter suit and takes off the hunter suit, totally two people. The hunter suit is also one of his confidence to hunt Tony. This time compared to last time, Su Zaichung became more familiar with the location of the underground trading place. Along the way, I also learned from my neighbor Little Spider-Man, who tried to run parkour on the side of the road, copying all the shortcuts in the shortcuts. Therefore, Su Zaichung quickly reached the underground trading place. Just like last time, he made no other moves and went directly to get his custom-made bow and arrow. The person in charge was quite reliable, and after seeing Su Zaichung coming, he handed over the customized bow and arrow to Su Zaichung. This bow looks very handsome, kind of like a recurve bow, but it's not. As for the specific material used to make it, Su Zaichang doesn't know. He has no knowledge of this, but if you want to determine whether this is what you want, there is a way. Su Zaichang glanced at the smiling person in charge, grabbed the bowstring, and yanked it hard. Under his tremendous strength, the bow and arrow were drawn to the full string. The person in charge froze for a moment, laughing until they huddled together changed their expressions. I rely on. If others don't know, how can he not know? This bow is made of the toughest, strongest, and most material that can be used except military secrets. If you want to pull the string, you need at least one or two stones, I don't know how much stone power. Is this guy AF asterisk King Hercules? The corner of the person in charge's mouth twitched. Ignoring the shock in the person in charge, Su Zaichung was very satisfied with the bow. Although he didn't use his maximum strength, he still used four to five tenths, with the increase of the hunter suit, there are not many bows that can support Su Zisheng's strength. And the toughness of the bow is very strong, which is very suitable for him. It can prove that this guy still has his heart on it. Su Zichang nodded. After being shocked for a moment, the person in charge arranged other things for him. After all, 200,000 knives, how could it be possible to make a bow? Bow and arrow bow and arrow, if there is a bow, there must be arrows. Without arrows, the bow is only a large slingshot, and it is still a slingshot that is not easy to shoot. The person in charge helped Su Zaichang make 120 special arrows, which probably filled several quivers. This kind of special arrow is much sharper than the arrows outside, and the material is also stronger. It is used in actual combat with real guns. Su Zaichang is very satisfied. $200,000 is worth it. Probably, the quality of the item is very good, exactly as described by the seller, very satisfied. I really like it, completely exceeded expectations, the delivery speed is very fast, the packaging is very careful and tight, the logistics company has a good service attitude, and the delivery speed is very fast fast, very satisfied with the shopping. After putting away the things, Su Zaichang left. He decided to take all these arrows with him. This is not troublesome. After all, the system has specially equipped him with a hunter space. Although it is a bit small compared to the hundreds of cubic meters in those novels, it is more than enough to perfectly put down the hunter suit, bow, and arrows. In addition, Su Zaichang also prepared a few flying darts and put them in the hunter space in case of emergency. After returning home, Su Zaichang familiarized himself with the bow he just got. 
This bow is very suitable for use now, very suitable for hunters at his stage. Familiar with half the night, Su Zicheng directly booked a direct flight to the Middle East tomorrow, and then went to sleep. Everything he arranged was in order, and there was no room for any miscalculations. The next morning, Su Zicheng threw the hunter's suit, bow, and a hundred arrows into the hunter's space, simply packed up, and headed to the airport as if he was about to go on a long trip. Su Zicheng tried his best to pretend to be relaxed, as if he was going on a trip. Although it is still a bit strange to travel to the Middle East. Get on the plane. This is going to the Middle East. Su Zicheng looked at the white clouds drifting by outside the window, calm on the surface, but turbulent in his heart. After all, strictly speaking, this was his first mission. And it's a highly dangerous move. I was a little nervous when I thought that I would face the terrorists soon. But nervousness is nervous, but there is not much fear. Su Zicheng's character is doomed that he will not do that kind of stupid thing that he is not sure of. As long as it is a task, he can either complete it 100% or it is enough to ensure his safety. The hunter suit is Su Zicheng's confidence in this mission. The turmoil will eventually subside. Su Zicheng soon fell asleep. There was no one I knew on the plane, and it was very boring. Apart from watching movies and TV shows, there were no other entertainment items. Compared with watching movies and TV series, Su Zicheng thinks he should take a good rest. When Su Zicheng woke up again, the plane had landed. He arrived at the Middle East airport. The Middle East is not a peaceful place, but no matter how peaceful it is, there will be places with good development, such as near the airport. But coming to the Middle East is not really a tourist trip. Noon a day later. In the Middle East, in an unknown desert. The wind and sand are alluring to the eye. And a man wearing a black hooded windbreaker, deliberately hiding his face in the shadow of the hood, and carrying a bow and arrow is walking in the wind and sand. The wind and sand are all isolated. The man is naturally Su Zicheng. He thought he had found what he was looking for. Su Zicheng just stood in the wind and sand, squinting his eyes. The amplified eyesight has become extremely terrifying. Through the fine wind and sand, he can see the scene hundreds of meters away. There is a small hill there. Different from other small hills, this small hill has an entrance, and there are five heavily armed guys guarding the outside vigilantly. Being heavily armed is no joke. Wearing a khaki military uniform and body armor holding an ack in his hand, a grenade on his waist, and a walkie-talkie for communication, they are different from ordinary bandits, like a standard regular army. Even nearby, Su Zicheng also saw boxes of ammunition. This is no ordinary thing, nor is it an ordinary gun. Judging from the sign on the top, the box contains bazookas and rockets. Tut tut. Su Zicheng had expected it a long time ago, so he wasn't really surprised. After all, they are terrorists who can take down Tony, and the energy behind them is huge, isn't it easy to get rockets and so on in regions like the Middle East? There is no hesitation either, after repeated confirmation. Su Zicheng walked slowly again, heading straight for the hill. Tony, to kill. Terrorists must also be killed. Although the terrorists came to kidnap Tony, in front of Su Zicheng, it was the same as protecting Tony. Therefore, he was already ready to destroy this group of terrorists. Su Zicheng didn't deliberately hide his whereabouts, but after all, the desert was very windy and sandy. After walking for a while, the five terrorists guarding the entrance of the cave noticed him. Who is this guy? Come towards us. If he gets any closer, shoot him. It is inevitable that a man dressed in such a strange way, who looks like an assassin, suddenly appeared in the wind-swept desert. But who can participate in the kidnapping of Tony, which one is not a character who has experienced many battles, calms down in an instant. They did not shoot immediately because they were not sure whether Su Zicheng was coming at them. Definitely, don't get me wrong. Regardless of whether they came for them or not, as long as they found them, they had to be killed. This was a death order from the top. If people ran away, then they should be buried together. The reason why he didn't shoot at the first time is simply to make the person come closer, so that he can be more confident to kill him directly. Looking at Su Zisheng's slow but unwavering footsteps, the five terrorists frowned deeply, and their vigilance became more and more intense. The terrorists who can participate in the kidnapping of Tony will not be the kind of drunks who know how to drink and have sex in movies and TV shows. In order to ensure nothing goes wrong, elites are used from top to bottom. This strangely dressed man was able to spot them, and he didn't feel scared at all, but walked towards them instead. Either you have nothing to worry about, or you're an idiot. They thought it was likely the former. Hold the act tightly in your hand. Once Su Zicheng steps within their range, fire. One order. The five terrorists aimed their loaded AKS at Su Zicheng in an instant, and the bullets poured out like raindrops as if they didn't want money. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. 
All of a sudden, gunshots rang out all around. Although it is not as exaggerated as the machine gun emitting blue fire, it is definitely considered a fire suppression, and a large area is completely covered by the gunfire. Although the distance is a bit far and the accuracy head is not very high, but they can't bear it, they don't want money, and they change the magazine after a magazine is finished. The five terrorists felt that even if God came, he would be beaten into a hornet's nest under their firepower. However, under the hail of bullets, Su Zichong actually felt like walking in the rain, without even a trace of blockage in his steps. Before the bullet hit him, it would be blocked by an inexplicable air barrier and land on the sand. Moreover, every time a bullet hits, Su Zichong will have a mysterious touch. The successive bullets are like a massage. Su Zichong even squinted his eyes in enjoyment, wishing to urge these guys to continue to shoot himself a few times. Fact. Is this man a monster? Why isn't he dead yet? Support is coming. He's not afraid of guns. He's a monster. Repeat. He's not afraid of guns. When the five terrorists saw that Su Zichung was unharmed, they panicked and hurriedly used the walkie-talkie to urge someone to come. They had already notified the leader of this operation when they found people just now, this is also the death order from the above. As soon as someone appears, they will be informed, and they will be killed if they can be killed, and they will come if they can't be killed. As for Su Zichung, he also knows the purpose of his trip. He entered the range of the Ak, which also means that the other five people also entered his range. Enjoying the gunshot like a massage, Su Zichung narrowed his eyes slightly, picked up the bow, grabbed a handful of five arrows from the back, put the arrows on the string, and pulled it full. Whoosh, 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 five tearing air sounds sounded. Five streaks of silvery white light flashed past, piercing the heads of the five terrorists almost at the same time, piercing directly from the forehead to the back of the head, and the red and white things slowly flowed out. The faces of the five terrorists still had incredible expressions, and they fell to the ground without a sound. The sound of gunfire also came at this moment, all coming together. Su Zichung shook his head. Damn, massage without bullets is weird. Complaining in his heart, Su Zichung kept walking and had already reached the entrance of the small sandbag. Then, a terrorist jumped out of the hole. Su Zichung was slightly taken aback. He was still wondering at first, they were all beaten up in front of his house. Why haven't these elites arrived yet? Why didn't they react at all? The result is to arrange this thing. The terrorist who jumped out suddenly carried a bazooka on his shoulders, and the bazooka was naturally equipped with a rocket. With a stern look, he aimed the bazooka at Su Zichang. Boom. A rumbling roar sounded. Seeing this, Su Zichang's pupils shrank slightly, and his feet moved together, just like an extremely agile moment, quickly rolling towards the lazy donkey on the side stone. Damn, if you don't move, you really think I'm an assassin in meat costume? Pong. The rocket hit the spot where Su Zichung was just now, blasting out a big crater and splashing gravel. And missed. Come back next time. Su Zichung glanced at the hole. Damn, take turns to do what I mean. There were several terrorists standing there, at least three of them were carrying bazookas, and they would replace each other after firing one. They perfectly missed the gap time between reloading and could deal continuous blows to Su Zichung. Pew. There was another exhaust dragging roar. Su Zichung rolled sideways with his keen sense. And taking advantage of the time of rolling on the ground, he quickly knocked the arrow and pulled the string, and when the arrow was fired with a crack sound, the terrorist who had just fired the rocket fell directly to the ground. As for the other terrorists who tried to suppress them with firearms, he simply ignored them. The act thing was just for him to massage. In the same way, in just a few seconds, all three terrorists carrying rocket launchers were shot and killed by Su Zichung. Bazooka. Get the bazooka. This team dispatched a total of seven people, three anti bazooka, and four suppressed with gunfire. Three of the bazookas were killed, and they panicked. A bearded man who was obviously the leader of the team shouted, Suppress the bazooka immediately. As he spoke, he continued to chug in the direction of Su Zichong with the ak. Although ak's suppression effect on Su Zichong is infinitely close to zero, it still gives them a sense of security to some extent. But they also understood. Only the bazooka told Su Zichang to move and hide. Several of the terrorists heard the boss's order and immediately wanted to take back the bazooka next to the corpse, trying to reload it. But they just walked out of the small hole and took a look. Whoosh, 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 several tearing air sounds sounded. The specially made arrows directly penetrated the heads of several people. Fact. The leader of the terrorist team watched several of his subordinates being killed without any hesitation, so he threw the ack in his hand aside and ran into the cave. Boss, someone has invaded, someone has invaded. Su Zichang narrowed his eyes slightly and followed quickly. 
however, just stepped into the hole. Then he saw the muzzle of a rocket launcher aimed at himself. Su Zichong was taken aback. My Marfak, what are you doing? The hole gets smaller and smaller as you go in. Once you step into the hole, if you use a bazooka, there is nowhere to hide. Can't afford it? Su Zichong wanted to turn around and leave immediately. But obviously it was too late. The terrorist was anticipating, and before Su Zichong showed his head, the cannon had already been fired, and as soon as he stepped into the hole, he happened to collide with the fired rocket. The rocket dragged its exhaust and hit Su Zicheng's chest with precision. Pong. The rocket exploded. The smoke filled the air. As if the passage had been hit by an earthquake, it was severely blasted open. Depend on. Su Zichung only felt that he was hit hard by the hammer, his chest felt tight, his eyes turned black, accompanied by a loud noise, he took a few steps back again and again, feeling breathless for a moment, but he still carried it through. Oh shit. My head froze at this moment. Su Zichung shook his head violently, looking at the terrorist ahead with a gleam of anger in his eyes. Aren't you AF asterisk king assassin? The team leader looked in horror at Su Zichung who had resisted the rocket launcher. Damn it. The surrounding area was trembling with the aftermath, but the guy who was bombed was fine. Wearing this suit, aren't you an assassin? Grandpa is an assassin dressed in meat. Su Zichung sneered, took the arrow to the bow, and instantly sent this guy to heaven. Damn it, I didn't expect to be hit by a rocket. Fortunately, it was as expected, otherwise it would be over. The defensive power of the hunter suit can easily resist ordinary firearms, and can also block rockets. Definitely, it will inevitably be a little uncomfortable to resist rockets. But no fatal damage. Da da da. The roots of his ears moved slightly. Su Zichung heard the sound of many footsteps coming towards him, judging by the weight of the steps, he should be fully armed. Moreover, the number of people is at least ten or more. All out? Su Zichung had no hesitation and continued to rush inside. If a terrorist comes out, kill one. Come out two to kill one pair. Come out with four kills and double doubles. This group of elite mercenaries terrorists has no ability to resist under Su Zichung's arrows. One arrow at a time without any problems, it was simply a one-sided massacre. The only thing that made Su Zichung uncomfortable was that he resisted three more rockets. In this regard, Su Zichung could only scratch his head speechlessly, rubbed his chest that was still a little stuffy, and took a deep breath. Hunter hunters, aren't they all assassins? Do you want to go all the way to the dark with a meat packed assassin? Hard anti bazooka, rush rush? One man against a group of terrorists, Pong. Boom. Da da da. As if fighting a war, the sound of guns and guns kept ringing grenades, smoke bombs, rockets, almost all weapons that could be used here were used, but they couldn't stop Su Zishang's footsteps at all. There were screams one after another. At the same time, Tony Stark and Dr. Inson, who were studying the Mark I armor, also noticed the battle outside. Tony was very pleasantly surprised. Did the military send someone to rescue me? Su Zichung fought all the way to the end and killed 20 terrorists. The scene was very bloody. There should be some missing, after all, he only killed the terrorists who came to intercept him, who knows how many more are not coming, coming, gathering. The terrorist leader hasn't seen it yet. However, he was not interested in cleaning up these terrorists, but came to take Tony's head. Kill Tony and go. Terrorists are none of my business, for the country and the people non-existent. With a bow and arrow in hand, Su Zichung finally stopped. This should be the deepest part of this small base. In front of Su Zichung was a very thick iron door with many bullet marks on it. Just looking at it gave a sense of security, at least there was no problem with bullet resistance. Su Zichung groped around on the dead body of the terrorist. Found a ring of keys. Then try one after another. Crack. The iron gate opened. Tony, who was doing something to do with it, was slightly stunned and then quickly reacted, his eyes were slightly widened, and he was extremely surprised. Are you the one the military came to rescue me? At the moment Tony is no longer a handsome boy. Although there are basically no big scars, there are many small scratches and scratches. His body and face are dirty, full of oil and blood. Just like the workers who usually work in the factory. In this small base, apart from Tony, there is another white man with a hook nose, which is obviously a node of Tony's metamorphosis in the early stage as Iron Man Dr. Inson. However, the white coat on his body was almost turning into a black coat. It doesn't mean to discriminate against workers, but Su Zichung couldn't help laughing when this image appeared on Tony's body. However, with Su Zichang's eyesight, it can still be seen. The research of Tony and Dr. Yingsen should have entered the middle and late stages. In short, Tony should have extracted the elements and made a super energy device, and the dog's life has been saved. 
This made Su Zicheng breathe a sigh of relief. What if something unexpected happens in this world because of my arrival, and Tony dies? Wouldn't all the money I spent in my business be wasted? Fortunately, the only unexpected thing at present is himself, and other things are developing according to the plot. Mr. Tony, are you dreaming? Su Zicheng suppressed his throat on purpose, pretending to be dark and gloomy, drew the bowstring fully, and pointed the arrow at Tony. Someone told me to kill you. Tony was startled, and then reacted suddenly. Who wants my dog's life? I don't have a dog. Dr. Yingsen, who thought he could breathe a sigh of relief, also stood beside Tony, looking at Su Zicheng warily. Mr. Tony, are you playing with me? Su Zicheng couldn't help laughing, but still feigned anger and said, I don't have much time to spend with you, goodbye, Tony. Saying that, the two fingers that hooked the bowstring loosened slightly. For ten million, he didn't mind taking Tony's life. Don't dare. Brother, can I ask a question? Tony waved his hands again and again. How much? How much did those people pay you? Ten million. Su Zicheng squinted his eyes. Before sending Tony to heaven, he could answer some of his doubts. It could be regarded as a little consolation for his previous love. Anyway, Tony couldn't run away if he wanted to. What? Who knows, after hearing this number, Tony suddenly became startled, with an unbelievable look. Ten million. I'm worth ten million. I'm a dignified Tony Stark, but I'm only worth ten million? Any farts to fart? If not, you can go to God. Tony is a living creature, very good at laughing. But it doesn't stop Su Zicheng from wanting to kill him. Wait. There is more. There is more. Tony hurriedly stopped Su Zicheng again, his brain turned quickly. Brother, you are so young, why do you want to do this business? Although Su Zicheng deliberately lowered his voice to make his voice sound more majestic. But who was Tony Stark? Naturally, he could tell that the person in front of him might not be very old, and judging from the exposed half of his face, it was exactly the same. There is not even stubble, and there are some fine fluff, obviously not a person of his age. Tony was obviously stalling for time now, talking to Su Zicheng while groping for something with his hands behind his back. Money. Su Zicheng looked at Tony like an idiot. He does this business, not for money but for what? Are you tough? Moreover, the meaning of this money is different, his money can do too many things. Ahem. Tony was choked up, but he was a smart man after all. He immediately stretched out two fingers and said, Brother, I'll give you money, twenty million, don't kill me. He originally thought that the people who came to kill him were purely for his life, or for other ulterior motives. There are really not many people with such high skills who are purely for money, at least Tony has never met them. But, if it was only about money, Tony would have relaxed a lot. Money? That thing he has the most. Su Zicheng was slightly taken aback. Twenty million? To be honest, he was a little moved. Ten million more, but. I am a bounty hunter, and I have professional ethics. Su Zicheng waved his hand righteously, but the bow in his hand had been slowly lowered. Tony's pupils shrank slightly, and there was something in his heart, and joy rose. But at this moment, hasty footsteps sounded. And what about terrorists? Su Zicheng frowned slightly, Mother, if you want to come, why don't you come together, one batch after another, it's very annoying. Tony is not a sand sculpture either, he quickly found a place to hide. Then it was time for Su Zicheng to show off. This time there were ten in total. In just three minutes, all the terrorists in this small group were killed, and because the place was not big, hand-to-hand -hand combat would inevitably occur. Although Su Zicheng has never learned the fighting technique, his strength is five times that of ordinary people. Coupled with the increase of the hunter suit, it is indestructible. It is not too easy to deal with these ordinary people. It's so simple and rough that once you get close, a punch will be ahead, and by the way, you also showed off Xiao Li's flying darts. Click, rub, rub, da da da, shish. Tony and Dr. Yingsen stood behind the equipment they were researching, feeling the feeling of bullets passing through their scalps, trembling with fear. It would be nothing if he died before. But now that the escape plan has been carried out in the middle and late stages, it would be a big loss if he was accidentally killed at this juncture. They also understood why Su Zicheng was able to forcefully enter here to kill Tony. Indestructible, the domineering group, looks like an assassin, well, it is indeed an assassin, but it is written as an assassin, red as a tank, really ruthless. At the same time, Tony was also thankful in his heart that he didn't do anything. Just now I wanted to sneak attack him, but now that I look at it, I still sneak attack. I don't even have a gun in my hand, so it's better to say it's a sneak attack than courting death. Get rid of this group of terrorists. Su Zicheng turned around, and before he could speak, Tony said directly, Sir, boss, 30 million, no, 40 million, give me a way out. 
No. I have professional ethics. Su Zichung spoke righteously on the surface, but his heart was trembling slightly. 40 million, maybe not a big deal to Tony, but converted into soft sister coins, that's 300 million. He was not rich in his previous life and this life, and he has never seen so much money in his life. Moreover, with so many knives, how much ability can you buy? Can you kill the purple sweet potato? Although it may not be able to reach that level, it should be possible to fight against purple sweet potatoes, right? Tony is really a big dog. Listen to the words of Su Zisheng's righteous words. Tony's little heart was also trembling slightly, but unlike Su Zisheng's, he was trembling a little bit. Am I, Tony Stark, going to confess here today? Oh no. However, at the moment, Su Zisheng's voice sounded again. Unless, when Tony heard these two words, he suddenly regained his energy, and his pupils glared angrily. Sir, unless what? I promise you whatever you want. His heart was in his throat. No matter how good the quality is, I can't help but want to complain. Damn, it's really uncomfortable to talk halfway, torment, torment. Unless you send me a task. Su Zichung thought for a while, he was very curious, if Tony sent him a different task, would it count as a bounty task, would he get money? This is the professional ethics of a bounty hunter. Listen to Su Zisheng's upright and invincible words. Tony complained slightly in his heart. You call this the professional ethics of a bounty hunter? Brother, your skin is thicker than my leather shoes. Definitely, he didn't dare to say this, he only dared to complain in his heart. Finally, Tony held out five fingers, 50 million. Mr. Hunter, I will give you 50 million knives, issue a mission, let me go. Su Zichung secretly laughed in his heart, his face remained calm, and his voice was still pretending, I accept your mission. Does this count as catching a loophole in the system? In the future, if there is a mission that will kill someone, first check to see if that person has money, and if he has money, let him release a mission that allows him to let him go. I know, it's not so easy to earn this money, it's a lot of money. As for professional conduct, what the hell is that? Bounty hunter, bounty hunter, bounty first, hunter last. Therefore, the bounty is his professional ethics, and everything else is just floating clouds. And when Tony and Su Zichung forced Lai Lai, the bearded leader of the terrorist finally couldn't sit still. When he first received the notification that someone had invaded, he didn't really pay much attention to it. After all, there is only one person, so can they still be brought together? As a result, the thoughts in my heart came true. According to the intelligence, the intruder was indestructible, not even afraid of bazookas, and was walking straight to where Tony Stark was, without thinking about anything else. As long as the terrorists were going to intercept him on the way, they would die one by one, and the few who survived were still because they were not seen by Su Zichung. There weren't many terrorists under his command, and almost all of them died after going to these few batches. It wasn't a one-shot, but it was better than a one-shot. How could he calm down, could he be a bare-handed commander? And. The guy had no interest in anything else, including ammunition, and the only possibility was to save Tony Stark. Damn hippie. Military, or is it another organization? When did such a ruthless person appear? People can die, but Tony Stark must not be rescued. Tony's value was much higher than those of the dead terrorists, and no less than that of any country's leaders. The bearded man who couldn't sit still immediately picked up the bazooka, greeted the rest of the terrorists, and immediately went to Tony's place. He has notified other terrorists in the Middle East to come to support him, and what he has to do now is to hold this ruthless man. Didn't know there were more terrorists coming. Su Zichung and Tony have already negotiated. Tony posted the task. Ask Su Zichung to spare his life. The bounty is 50 million knives. Su Zichung readily agreed. A comparison of 10 million and 50 million. There is no comparison. The sand sculpture knows which one to choose. Farewell. Su Zichung waved his hand. Goodbye. Tony breathed a sigh of relief, although he still couldn't help complaining about this professional ethics. At least his life was saved. You can still find me next time, my card number is on it. Su Zichung threw Tony a business card and waved as he walked, leaving Tony with a chic and unruly back. Now that the mission has been accomplished, there is no point in continuing to stay here. Tony's movements froze, his smile froze. Who the hell wants to run into you? If you encounter this kind of bounty hunter, you will either be hunted or hunt someone else. The former need not go into details, the latter must be something out of control. No matter which one he doesn't want to go through again. Although he was MMP in his heart, Tony still picked up the super simple business card temporarily made by Su Zichung. Bounty Hunter. Contact number, card number, gone. Watching Su Zichung leave, Tony and Dr. Yingsen finally breathed a sigh of relief, their whole bodies limp on the ground, not wanting to move. 
And at this moment, da da da, da da da, da da da, the sound of extremely dense footsteps sounded. Tony and Dr. Inson stood up abruptly, looked at each other, and they both saw something bad in each other's eyes. It's over. Sure enough, just as they expected. One after another, terrorists swarmed in, aiming all kinds of weapons in their hands at Tony and Dr. Inson. Ak, bazooka. Put your hands up. Tony didn't dare to think of any resistance at all. At the same time, I was crying so hard that I was about to cry. Oh shit. How did he forget this crop? I was completely threatened by Su Zaichung just now, I left all other things behind, and concentrated on dealing with Su Zaichung, and I completely forgot about these terrorists. Why didn't I let him rescue me out? Just post the task. Even if Tony was blown up by the aftermath of the explosion, he wouldn't be in such a bad mood now. After spending 50 million yuan, can't you spend tens of millions more to get yourself out of danger? Not much. This time. It's over. The bearded terrorist pushed away the subordinates who surrounded Tony and Dr. Inson, looked at Tony and Dr. Inson, and squinted his eyes. Why wasn't Tony rescued? This thought didn't linger in his mind for long, because the most urgent thing was to get out of here quickly. Someone came here and disappeared, and Tony couldn't stay here any longer. Tony must continue to study weapons in another place. Take him away. Transfer base. The head of the terrorists gave an order, and several big men swarmed up, smashed a few butts of their guns, smashed Tony and Dr. Inson, and led them away from the base. This is very unfavorable to Tony, because his armor has been researched almost, once it is transferred, it needs to be remade, and it will take several days. Before he passed out, the only thought in Tony's heart, MMP, the hard mode has become hell mode, Roddy, come and save me. He doesn't care what Tony thinks, Su Zaichung is on his way out of the Middle East, he doesn't care what happens to Tony at all. This is how the system judges. First, it will be determined whether the task issuer has the conditions for offering reward funds. If the conditions are not met, then the task originally is invalid. Secondly, after the task is completed, in addition to the commission given by the reward task publisher, if the time is too long, the system will deduct it. Finally, once the bounty hunter has other ideas about the bounty hunter, for example, if he does not want to give a commission, the system will issue a task and order the bounty hunter to hunt and kill the publisher. In short, this system is still guaranteed for hunters. Walk in the desert. This line is really exciting. Su Zishang's blood is still boiling. Killing for the first time. Got shot for the first time. Was bombed by rockets for the first time. The first time, there are too many firsts, and it feels a bit innumerable. However, this task is very cool. Never mention it. 50 million. Is this a system bug? Su Zichung felt so flattered. In the future, if there is a reward task for hunting other people, just ask that person to pay a higher price so that you don't kill him. Isn't this a flattering thing? Money is really easy to earn. For the first time, Su Zichung felt that this money was too easy to earn. He found a system loophole so easily, relying on this system loophole, he didn't know how much money he could make. Dog system ah dog system. Unexpectedly, I caught this loophole. Su Zichung can't wait to look up to the sky and sing, we common people, I'm really happy today. Ding. Congratulations to the host for catching the vulnerability, and it is being repaired. Finished. After the host accepts the task in the future, the task target will be invalid for the task judgment issued by the host. Su Zishang's smile hidden under the hood froze. An indescribable sense of sadness welled up in my heart. What is extreme joy begets sorrow? This is called extreme joy begets sorrow. Su Zishang's current mood is comparable to Tony Stark's, he is a f asterisk king dog, wanting to die but wanting to live on. Depend on. If I knew it earlier, I wouldn't be so embarrassing. Now it's over, the loopholes have been sealed by the system. System. Will I give you such a big loophole? Doesn't exist alright lad. However, if you are blocked, you will be blocked. Su Zichang suddenly thought of one thing, it is imperative to ask this. He hurriedly asked. System, is Tony's mission still count? The tasks completed before the loopholes are blocked will naturally count. The cold voice of the system seemed so pleasant and pleasant to the ears of Su Zichang from at the moment. Su Zichung heaved a sigh of relief, so far so good. Even if the loophole is sealed, I have made a fortune from this loophole. A full 50 million, no loss, no loss. Su Zichung kept staring at himself. No loss, a hammer, blood loss, blood loss. Hypnotic ability is impossible to succeed, Su Zichung feels his heart hurts, it is possible to earn 100 million, 500 million, 1 billion, or even tens of billions in the long run. But now, they only got 50 million. Sighing, Su Zichung asked resolutely, System, 
Those online games that find bugs and loopholes will be rewarded by the official. How about you? Don't you want to express it? The system pondered for a while, and said, I found a major loophole, and I will reward the hunter with 50,000 funds and one point of physical fitness. Yes. It's really a trap. Su Zishang's eyes lit up. The system is amazing, the system I love you. Needless to say, the 50,000 funds will be useful to Tony before his bounty arrives. There is still one point of physique. In the system, one point of physique needs 20,000, and according to the higher the hunter's physique point, its price will also increase. Gradually climbed higher. Although these two rewards are nothing compared to the benefits brought by the loopholes, they are more or less compensation. If loopholes cannot be used, a little compensation is also very good. While feeling refreshed, Su Zichung was also secretly smiling. In order to get something out of the dog system, Su Zichung really racked his brains. Now he is not at all like the high profile bounty hunter who faced Tony just now, but he is similar to the Philistine ant who bargained with the pork seller in the vegetable market. However, he actually seized another loophole. If bugs and official feedback are found in the online game, the official will naturally give rewards, but the premise is that the official feedback has been given. If there is no feedback, if you still try to use the bug to make a profit, the officials are not fools, the rewards do not exist, and they will severely punish this group of players. The simple system is still a little tender for Su Zichung, an old netizen who has been surfing the internet for 10 years. Su Zichung took off the hunter suit and stuffed it into the hunter space, and returned to the hotel he rented yesterday next to the Middle East airport. Then I booked a ticket back to New York tomorrow, and I completely relaxed. As for why today's, I've come all the time, if I don't take a stroll, I'm so sorry for my airfare, he hasn't been to the Middle East yet. Carrying out the task belongs to carrying out the task, Su Zichung feels that he has to combine work with rest. What if I want to become the same person as those killers? Su Zichung remembered the killer he saw in the movie of his previous life. These killers generally have some eccentricities. They kill too many people. They either have no feelings for extreme indifference, or they are a little perverted. In some ways, they are even worse. Su Zichung trembled, he didn't want to become that kind of person in the future. Therefore, he set a rule for himself. After each task is completed, calculate the gains and losses. Then rest for more than a week, the specific time is up to you, but to perform a task, rest for at least a week, this is the most basic. While wandering around the airport in the Middle East, Su Zichung was also calculating how much he earned and paid this time. First of all, if you calculate the loss, it is $200,000, and there are two 10% discounts and loopholes. To be honest, the value of those two 10% discounts seems immeasurable, but in fact it is just that. After all, there is a time limit, which can only be used within one month, plus the system originally restricted hunters. It looks immeasurable, but it is actually very limited. As for the loophole, forget it, this is definitely a blood loss. And get it. The 50 million that has not yet been obtained, 50,000 funds that can be used in the system, and one point of physical fitness. This trip to the mission is still perfect, if it is not counted as the loopholes being filled, it will be a blood mother. But after a day of mental adjustment, Su Zichung also figured it out. Loopholes are meant to be made up for, even if they are discovered later, they will still be made up for, and there are compensations, after all, I still make money, people, the most important thing is to know how to be satisfied. Gains and losses are so calculated. Su Zichung also knew how bloody his mission was this time. Once the 50 million funds are included in the system space, he still doesn't know how many things he can buy, and he thinks it is beautiful when he thinks about it. Spent an afternoon in the Middle East. But to be honest, there is nothing to do here in the Middle East, and you will get tired of shopping for an afternoon. The next morning. Su Zichung took the flight and returned to New York. I have to say that the United States is different from the Middle East. There are deserts everywhere in the Middle East, and the air quality is really worrying. Definitely, the United States is not much better, but in comparison, short people are taller. After Su Zichung returned to New York, he didn't immediately go back to school and tell the teacher that he would cut off his vacation. Instead, the first thing to do after returning home is to use the 50,000 funds and one point of stamina obtained from the discovered loophole. Add physical fitness points. The strength has obviously increased a lot, Su Zichung exhaled slowly, his physique was 5 points before, and now it is 6 points after adding it, which is 6 times that of ordinary people. Moreover, physique is not something that can be analyzed by 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 6. You must know that in the introduction of the system, physique includes strength, speed, agility. It is a combination of these evaluation. Except for physical points. During this trip to the Middle East, Su Zichung understood one thing and also discovered his own shortcomings. Fight. 
He doesn't know fighting technique at all. Really not at all. If you have to say it hard, Su Zicheng only knows one boxing method, Wang Baekwon. When facing the terrorists, he just relied on his physique far superior to them to punch and beat the teacher to death. Sora has great strength but can't use it, just like holding an arrow without a bow. It's okay to deal with ordinary people, but it's over when the strength is crushed. But if he meets a military elite like Captain America who has similar physique to him and is proficient in killing fighting techniques, he will probably lose in two rounds, and even Natasha Romanoff will be a bit difficult to fight. Su Zicheng thought about it. In the end, I chose to use the remaining 50,000 funds to purchase an ability. Fighting technique. The price is 200,000, including all fighting techniques in the world, no grades. A full 200,000, Su Zicheng's 50,000 funds are enough to buy a quarter. But it is obviously impossible for the system to only sell a quarter to him. But Su Zicheng still remembers it. I also have a 10% discount in my hand. It has been more than a month and a half since I became a hunter, and Tony doesn't know when he can give him the money. What if the time limit is exceeded? Isn't that a blood loss? It's better to use it here, it's perfect. Moreover, although the introduction of this fighting technique is very simple, but including all fighting techniques in the world, Su Zicheng also knows how powerful this thing is. It doesn't look as good as those expensive and exaggerated products, but to him, the value of this thing may be more than many fancy abilities. Fighting technique, as long as his body is strong, unless the enemy is immune to physical damage, he can use it no matter what the situation. No more hesitation. Su Zicheng chose to buy it. The funds owned by the hunter cannot purchase this product. Do you want to use that 10% discount card? Yes. Su Zicheng nodded, purchased. In an instant, a torrent of memories rushed into Su Zicheng's mind. Military fighting, Sanda, Karate, Bajiquan, Wing Chun, and even Taijiquan. Monkeys steal peaches, flirt with palms. Su Zicheng is obsessed with these memories, as if he is experiencing these lives. It seems to be a long time, but in Huang Liang's dream, in reality, only a few seconds have passed. He has already mastered all the fighting techniques in the world that can and cannot be named. Su Zicheng slowly opened his eyes and looked at his hands. Swing a drive. Fist at the door of their own house. The fists he uses are chaotic and disorderly, sometimes fierce, sometimes gentle, sometimes feminine, and sometimes extremely vicious. Besides his boxing skills, his footwork is not bad at all, he is not flexible like a man. It's not right to say it's boxing. After all, there are boxing and kicking techniques, so it should be practicing martial arts. I practiced martial arts for about an hour, and I got addicted to it. Some of these boxing techniques are extremely difficult. Even with Su Zisheng's current physique, he is sweating profusely, but they are very refreshing and hearty. After a while ago, he also had a little understanding of his current fighting technique. Second to none, said without any humility. As far as fighting is concerned, no one in this world can beat him. With these incomparably exquisite fighting techniques, even if Su Zicheng encounters people whose physique is more terrifying than himself, Su Zicheng is sure to kill them. Among these fighting skills, there are not only those that can be crushed by pure strength. In short, the 20,000 funds and the 10% discount card are worth it. Su Zicheng sighed for a while, and opened them all again. This time he wants to buy some items, like a bow. The bow that I spent a lot of money to customize before has experienced the baptism of Akin rockets, and now it is almost useless. White snake bow. The price is 30,000. The bow is made of wood from the sky. The strings are the tendons of a white snake. It looks like a white snake and is extremely tough. It can be strengthening. When buying a bow, another word appeared that he hadn't heard in the system before. Strengthening. Su Zicheng understood a little bit. Strengthening is not the same as leveling. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. Probably like this, a bit similar to the strengthening of equipment in the game, very easy to understand. Will the entire bow of enchantment be released in the future? But this is not something he can think about for the time being, unless Tony's 50 million arrives in the account, then he can still fiddle with it, let's forget it now, poverty prevents him from pushing too much. Su Zicheng just had 30,000 left, so he bought White Snake Bow, without hesitation. This thing is the capital for his life now, he can't buy it, otherwise, he will have to make a bow every time he goes out, not to mention the trouble, and a lot of money will be wasted. Buying, White Snake Bow. Forget it, but I still need to customize the arrows, which is really troublesome. But that's all for now. Su Zicheng loves the White Snake Bow. A lot. The shape of this bow is much more handsome than the custom made one. Host. Su Zicheng Physical Fitness, 6 Hunter Level, D. Ability. Absolute hit LV.1, fighting technique. 
Equipment. White Snake Bow. There is an extra row of equipment bars in the character stats panel. Although the overall panel is not gorgeous, compared to before, it can be said that its strength has skyrocketed. Good brother, let's fight side by side together later. Reluctantly throwing the white snake bow into the hunter space, Su Zaichung stretched. Next, I took a comfortable bath. Then there is. Lai watches movies and plays games at home. Having said that, we will fight side by side together in the future. Let the bow of the white snake eat ashes in the hunter space for now. He had been preparing for this mission for a long time, and it was the first time to perform a mission. He was mentally and physically vigilant and exhausted. If he still went to school, he felt that he might go crazy. It was a real torment to study for so long in the previous life, let him be more self-willed in this life, it is already uncomfortable enough to relearn the original one. Anyway, the one-month holiday has only passed a week, and there are still more than 20 days left. Su Zaichung chose to play comfortably at home for a while before going back to school. Anyway, there are only a lot more entertainment items in this world than in the previous life, all kinds of good-looking movies and 3A masterpieces emerge in endlessly and there is no pressure to change and play for a few days, just rush and finish. Just when Su Zaichung was lazing at home. However, something seemingly insignificant happened in Queen's High School, but it was actually the starting point of a certain hero. Tom Holland was beaten up by Su Zaichung a few days ago. It took two full days of recuperation to recover. Now that he thought about the scene of being beaten that day, he still trembled a little and wanted to cry a little. But who is Tom Holland? A violent big man, the perpetrator of school violence. From childhood to adulthood, anyone who disliked was beaten up, and it's not like he didn't get hit back. This time, it was a little more serious at most. Tom Holland had rested for three days and almost recovered. After recovering, Tom Holland became more and more annoyed. Dot, but he didn't dare to seek revenge on Su Zaichung. Not to mention that you can't beat Su Zaichung at all, Su Zaichung is not in school at all now. This made Tom Holland suffocate a fire in his heart, and the fire was burning hotter and hotter, and it was getting hotter and hotter and it had reached the point where he would die if he didn't vent. And until last night. Tom, do you know, the Su Zaichung who beat you that day? F asterisk K, Jerry, fart as long as you want, don't talk to me. Just that Su Zaichung, why do you think he beat you? You didn't know him before, no grievances, no enmity. Why did he beat you? Dot how the hell do I know? I have news. If you have any news, tell the F asterisk K, that brat Peter hired him to beat you up. What? Now, everything is clear. Tom Holland suddenly realized. He just said, he didn't know Su Zaichung at all before, why did he suddenly come and beat him up? It turned out to be that brat Peter. If it was Peter, then everything would make sense. Brat. Damn thing. Anger ignited in Tom Holland's eyes, and he clenched his fists the size of two sandbags. Su Zaichung, he didn't dare to provoke him, but Peter's small body is not necessarily so. Persimmons need to be picked softly, which is the conclusion Tom Holland has drawn for so long on campus violence. This is his nature, to bully the weak and fear the hard, to bully the weak and fear the hard. The next morning. Peter hummed a song with headphones on, feeling the surging power in his body, and happily walked on campus. He felt metamorphosis. Hey, Peter. Just as Peter was stuffing things into the locker, a tall figure suddenly appeared behind him. He slammed the door of the locker hard. The sound of Pong was extremely loud, attracting the attention of the surrounding students. Then, I saw Tom Holland propping one hand on the locker, lowering his head, looking down at Peter. Suddenly, a hint of interest appeared in some people's eyes. Many people here watched Su Zaichung beat Tom Holland violently a few days ago, and there are many smart people. It can be seen at a glance that Peter asked Su Zaichung to beat Tom Holland. Now Tom Holland comes to Peter. What is that for? There is no need to say more. Those who understand will naturally understand, and those who do not understand will understand. Holland. What's the matter? Unlike Tom Holland's affectionate, Peter, Peter calls him by his last name. Is there something wrong? Definitely something is wrong. Tom Holland shook his fist, he could press it, his bones crackled, and the corner of his mouth curled up with a cruel arc. Is it a thing to beat you up? Business management, and healthcare he shook his grey-white shoes and looked at Peter defiantly. Don't force me. Peter took a few steps back and looked at Tom Holland, looking panicked. His panic was a little different from what he looked like. If you panic, you are afraid that you will not be able to control your strength, what should you do if you punch Tom Holland to death? When the two were entangled, MJ, who was interesting to both of them, suddenly pushed through the crowd and walked in. Tom. Peter. What are you doing? MJ felt very bad when he saw this appearance, and quickly pushed Tom Holland away to block Peter. 
Peter looked at MJ moved. I knew you still had me in your heart, MJ. However, MJ didn't know that his behavior made Tom Holland even more angry. I was beaten and you didn't come to protect me. Now I want to take revenge, but you protect my enemy? Originally only had a playful attitude towards MJ, Tom Holland pushed MJ away, and said viciously, Get out, it has nothing to do with you. MJ didn't expect Tom Holland to shoot at her, and was pushed aside unexpectedly, took a few steps back and sprained his ankle. Hiss, anyone who has experienced the pain of sprained ankle knows, MJ's complexion suddenly became ugly, and he squatted on the ground, gasping for air.